report of the fire that occurred just behind me in this JC Penny came in around five o'clock. The good news, the building is vacant and there were no injuries save for one firefighter who did sprain a muscle, but the wind just made things really difficult for firefighters. When crews arrived on scene, they were faced with flames, smoke and heavy winds. One supervisor on scene said the wind was so strong that it pushed the smoke horizontally across the parking lot and increased the supply of oxygen fueling the fire, causing it to spread faster. According to the Hanover Fire Department, the lead agency on scene, the fire started in the HVAC system on the roof of the J.C. Penny. Firefighters could be seen tearing through the roof to access the space between the building's rubber roof and metal deck just below it, according to a member of the Hanover Fire Department. Around 7.30, he says, the fire was contained and ultimately extinguished. After checking for any hot spots and structural damage that could be hazarded, they hazardous, they did pack up and leave the scene. The Hanover Fire Chief got his first look inside this building earlier today. He was here with the state police fire marshal. This is the building where the fire started. It's a vacant J.C. Penney store, but most of the damage is up on the roof. That's where it's believed a rooftop HVAC unit was in flames. The actual cause of the fire is undetermined right now, according to the state police fire marshal. There's still questions about what actually started the fire that sent thick black smoke across the area. About 70 firefighters were called out to fight it. But the exact calls up in that, that one of those units, um, but the exact calls, was it gas, was it electric? Who knows? It, it's beyond our scope to be able to tell us, to be able to tell anybody what actually started it when you're dealing with a unit like that. Now damage is estimated at close to a million dollars. Some stores here at the North Hanover Mall are closed. Some are open. The, uh, there is some smoking and water damage through sections of the mall. <laughs> Oh, it's a smoke-free mall. Very good. Well, the heat works. Ah, yes, indeed. The heat does work here, in more ways than one. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hanover, Pennsylvania, and welcome to the North Hanover Mall. 
The little pun I just threw out there refers to the fire that took place on March 28, 2022. I visited in March of 2023, almost a year to the day, and had no idea about the fire or this mall's existence in general. I had spent a weekend in Gettysburg, which is only about 15 or so minutes away to the west, and I needed to run to a store that was in Hanover and stumbled upon this mall and was fascinated with it very, very quickly. Just like my visit a year ago, it was cold in March and the HVAC system was doing its job. And unfortunately for one of the units above the JCPenney, it decided to give up the ghost and it caused a three alarm fire, which caused almost $1 million in damage to the property. And it closed off the inside of the mall for a little while. Here in 2023, they're still repairing the mall and recovering from it. You'll see towards the end of the video when I make my way down the J.C. Penney wing how there's a big tarp covering the entranceway for the old store as the store itself is now demolished. Obviously, the HVAC system down there isn't working, so they have a space heater set up for the poor old GNC store, which is basically isolated in the corner all by itself and in the dark because the lights don't work either. As I said, it's still an active construction site, and I'm excited to see what it'll look like when it's done. Hopefully the mall will bounce back from that. I know it took a pretty big hit because of it, but hopefully it'll be nice once the repairs are finished. Here we're looking at the center court that even though the mall at one point in time was owned by Priot, still had some character to it with the skylights at least. And nothing beats this Easter display. Hey, I gotta give it to them. They tried. Even though these little buddies right here were kind of creepy looking in a way. Alright, let's get into the history of North Hanover Mall, shall we? In 1967, the mall opened as an open-air strip mall, including W.T. Grant, Town & Country, which was a discount chain then owned by Lane Bryant, Sears, and Food Fair. In 1969 and 70, the mall underwent reconstruction to become an enclosed shopping mall, with Bonton moving from an existing store downtown and J.C. Penney joining. The Town & Country store became Kmart, which moved out in 1995, to a superstore nearby that closed in 2004 and became Black Rose Antiques. If you're not familiar with Black Rose Antiques, they have a really awesome antique store at the Chambersburg Mall, which is much larger than the one here at North Hanover, with thousands and thousands of items to search through. The one here at North Hanover Mall has mostly furniture, but hey, if that's what you're looking for, you might have come to the right place. Definitely check them out. They're a great family-run operation. Anyway, getting back into the history of North Hanover Mall. In 2006, Bonton moved out. In 2007, construction began to build the Dick's Sporting Goods while demolishing the former Bonton for a two-story Boscovs. At the time, Boscovs was dealing with their own financial issues, including bankruptcy. Though Boscovs was supposed to open in 2008, its opening date was later pushed back to 2009. However, in April of that year, the mall's manager confirmed that Boscovs would not be opening. As a matter of fact, at that time they closed several stores. Hard to believe that for how well they're doing nowadays. Anyway, in 2012, J.C. Penney decided to move into the space originally planned for Boscovs.
Here we're walking up to one of the entrances to Black Rose Antiques. And speaking of which, one source said back in 2006 or 7 that Black Rose had left the mall. I'm not sure how true or not that is, but as you can see, they are here at the mall. So whether they moved out and came back is one thing, or if the report isn't accurate, I don't know. But either way, it's a great place. As you can see here, this mall has a lot of white paint to it. This was a Crown American property that went through the uh, trial and error of Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust, otherwise known as Priot, which likes to white out malls, kind of like Simon does. Anyway, speaking of Priot, they announced on September 9th, 2014, that it sold the mall, as well as State College's Nittany Mall, for a combined $32.3 million dollars. The name of the buyer was not immediately available, and a trust spokesperson was not available for comment. Priot sold the mall as part of a portfolio improvement initiative it launched in 2012, which involved selling underperforming properties. The 452,000 square foot North Hanover Mall had sales of $275 per square foot at the end of June, and a non-anchor occupancy of 72.8%, according to the trust. Sales and occupancy at the mall lagged the trust portfolio, which had average sales of $378 per square foot, and a non-anchor occupancy of 89.5% for the same time period. The buyer of the mall was Mason Asset Management of Great Neck, New York. Mason Asset Management is partnered with Namdar. If you know anything about Namdar, they are lackluster in mall ownership. Look at some of the properties they own, including Uniontown Mall, which I got to hand it to them, though. They are working on getting that place better. While I'll say Namdar doesn't have necessarily a great track record for owning malls and doing anything about it, this place is trying to come back. For a Namdar property, this place was actually very nice inside. And as you can see the construction here, where the JCPenney once was, this is where the fire was. And I have to tell you something. Walking through here nearly a year after the fire... I could still smell smoke and fire through this entire corridor. While it wasn't strong, it was faint, you could still smell it. And that was unbelievable to me. And back here in this dark little corner is the poor GNC store. I'm surprised they didn't relocate them to a better part of the mall, honestly. As we take a look at this corner and the poor GNC just isolated here. Though Namdar doesn't really have a good track record with malls, I gotta hand it to this place. The mall was really nice where it wasn't under construction. It was very clean and there were three maintenance guys actively working the entire time I was there. And I have to say they were busting their butts to keep the mall nice and clean even though there weren't a whole lot of customers. And the construction site down here was still actively being worked and... I would like to think, after a year of work now, it'll finally get finished soon. Anyway, getting back into the history of this mall as we begin to wrap up. On January 4th, 2018, Sears announced it would be closing its store and would close in April of 2018. On June 4th, 2020, JCPenney announced that their store would be closing and would close on October 18th. Rural King would open in the former Sears location in the spring of 2021. And as for Dick's Sporting Goods, I can't tell you when that store closed, simply because it closed so recently that I haven't been able to find any info on it. Anyway, that is the North Hanover Mall. A little gem, about 15 minutes to 20 minutes east of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Definitely stop by and check it out. I really like this place a lot. 
including this little stand here, which I couldn't figure out what it was, but I love the little paintings of the puppies on there, the little corgis. <laughs> anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you know the drill. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you to all of our Patreon supporters that make videos like this possible. It would be very difficult to do it without you, so thank you very much. And if you would like to become a patron, check it out at WallyB26 there. The link is in the description, and you'll get exclusive content like these mall videos without me blabbering and some other Easter eggs thrown in there. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to take off now. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. The next mall videos that I have for you is Columbia Place Mall in Columbia, South Carolina, and a revisit to Signal Hill Mall in Statesville, North Carolina. Stay tuned. I can't wait to share those videos with y'all. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome as always. Love you all. Happy Easter, even though it's after Easter. All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nobody's been that excited to shop here in years. I wonder what mall they got those from.